for today's activity, we will be doing our own inspired Chinese dragon. Yay! And this is gonna be very important, like very interesting, very cool in particular, because we will be using some, you hear that? You hear that popping? Some bubble wrap, guys. And so I'm going to do green, the thalo green, the cadmium red medium, the red, basically. Any red that you have will work just fine. So this red color here, you can see it here. I'm actually gonna place it here so you can see it better. And let's use yellow because we want to resemble the power and like royalness, right? We're gonna do that. So I'm gonna place it here. And so I'm going to start here. You see that? And we have to work fast because you know that acrylic paint dries very, very, very fast. So we have to be quick, you guys. So here, I have this part here. And then I'm going to grab the, the red real quick. And we're going to make this transition. You see that? So now, because I'm doing this, I'm doing something new. I'm going to clean the brush because I'm doing that transition. But remember guys, we need to work fast. Remember acrylic paint dries very, very fast. So I'm going to go here and go all the way down here while I am like sort of outlining the figure of the dragon. You see that? And then finally, the tail. Thank you, Oscar. Happy to have you here. Welcome. And then I'm going to have this last part here. And that is the end of the dragon's body. Remember that the tail would be like like thinner than the rest of the body. So there you have it. This would be the body. So we're gonna turn this around, hold it very, very well because we're going to press it onto the paper. All right, guys? So let's do that. There you go. Be careful of not moving it around. Press it gently, but press it firmly. Gently, but firmly. There you go, where we have the paint. And then we are going to pick this up. And there we have the body. You see that? As I told you before, the dragon has like this elongated face, right? We, we, we want to make like this elongated figure. Remember? It has like... So always remember it has some sort of like of a snake face. You don't have to be, you don't have to think about doing something perfect because here we're having fun, we're learning, it's just appreciating the culture. So it doesn't matter, it doesn't have to be perfect, guys. All right, okay? So don't worry about it. And it has like this weird ears too. It has like the, the, the ears, you know? It has like this ears here. It has like this pointy ears around and like some hairs around it because I, I saw that it has some hairs. So I'm going to clean my brush and I'm going to make, let's make like some yellow hairs, right? Let's make some yellow hairs. So it has like this, there you go. And that we can even like blend with everything else. Cause it has like this, it has like many, many different elements in it. So what we can also do is the antlers. Let's add the antlers, right? Let's add the antlers. So I'm going to add some antlers here very vaguely, you know?
And there you see, there you have it. I'm going to go ahead again over the face and add some elements of the of the of the dragon like I I always believe like it has like this nose here and like the eyes are like like it's always like mad or something so I always like add this small eyes here it has like white eyes so don't mind it don't mind my my mad dragon I always make it mad for some reason <laughs> my my dragon is always mad and i tried to make like the scales on the face but that doesn't matter there i can even i can even give it some red eyes what what do you guys think oh it actually looks weird it, it looks nice it looks interesting you know it actually looks interesting. It actually looks very interesting. I'm gonna make some details like that in red and maybe add some things here. Remember, you can explore this. You can do different things to it. I bet you can also paint a koi fish with this bubble wrap technique. Oh, we can try to do that in another class. Absolutely, absolutely. I think that is a very good idea. So, what else we need to add? We need to add, remember, the claws. You can see in the picture down below here, it needs the claws. So we should do it, I'm going to do it in the legs, like the, the limbs, I'm gonna do, it, do them in green. So in this one, we can add this one here and make it like, you know, like, like the claws. I'm going to make it like four clawed in my case. I believe it would be best. And it doesn't have to be perfect again. Just do it as you like. So it, these are the first limbs that it has. And down in the bottom, I will do them with the red let's do them in red let's see how it goes in red i'll tell my niece when i visit if she would like to okay that is amazing yeah and the legs the so here we have oops i'm dropping a little bit of water there so again guys just try to make like this this figure like I'm just doing like the shape of the claws so I can go over them later, okay? You can do your dragon however you like. If you want to do bigger eyes to your dragon, go ahead. You can do it. You don't have to do it exactly as I'm doing it, all right? Don't feel compelled like, oh, no, because Teacher Manu is doing it like that. I have to do it like that too. No. Be Have your imagination fly, like... Have your imagination go places and and find other ways of you trying to resolve this image okay come with something you know on your own and that it can be very interesting for all of us to see that is the amazing part of art that anything you can do anything right you don't have to follow a template so the tail let's do the tail I'm gonna I'm going to do do it in blue all right so I'm going to add like some spikes here and then just kind of keep following along because the painting that I'm doing is like this kind of like dry technique. I'm just going to add it here. I'm just going, to, I'm, I'm being very intuitive with this, all right? and adding the tail of the dragon. There you have it, you guys. And you can add like small things here so it shows like the tail of the dragon, okay? 
I'm actually even, I, I believe with the blue, what we can do is maybe add some things to the hair or something here, you know? There you have it. Just some details there. Now I'm going to cover real quick its limbs, the legs. So it is all covered in, in the greenish color here. And it actually looks like, you know. Oh, there you go. It has more of a form. You can see there. Oops, I was about to feel the other ones, the ones in, in the bottom with the green. I almost messed it up. So here I'm going to paint this one. You don't have to paint it if you don't want. You can do something else. Don't worry. And I'm just going to fill in a little bit more. So it doesn't look like this thin claws we're looking at here, no. But it actually has like a form, this claws. Oh, look at that, guys. So finally, what we can do is add some, it has like some yellow scales too. They have like these yellow scales around their body. So we can add like these little triangles over to the dragon's body out here, you know? So it also decorates the body of the dragon and put them around, you see that? There you have it. You look look at that. Oh wow, we have our dragon guys. 